Is your head cut off? If it is, I should be bleeding. You look better. Thanks. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex show, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us for Twitter account. Subscribe and hit the like button. Yeah. And welcome back. Today we're doing a movie review. And we're in our car because we watched it on a phone in our car. Yeah. Uh, that's Little we, screen. No, no. Best way to watch a movie. Uh, we obviously just stepped out of Jawan, the highly anticipated uh, second film of Shah Rukh Khan in 2023. Uh, it's directed by Atlee. And I think the story and screen by, was by Atlee as well. Yes. Uh, by other people as well. Uh, composed by Ani. Starring Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, do you have to say her name for me? Easy for you to say. Um, uh, Nayantara. Uh, Vijay, wait. And Vijay Sarapathy. Yogi Babu was... Did you see Yogi Babu? No. Was he in this? Wow. <laughs> or did he get cut? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously other people, because I think, uh, obviously, um, um, the whole cast is not here. But yeah. uh, obviously it's Shah Rukh Khan's film, as you all know. Yeah. Uh, just stepped out of it. Obviously, since it just came out, we're going to do a uh, first non-spoiler review. If we want to get some spoilers, we're going to get to spoilers. We will let you know before we do that. We though. shall not ruin it for you. Um, so, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of Jawan. So, this was tremendously disappointing for me. Um, I, I, I am extraordinarily disappointed. Mm. So yeah, didn't like it. Tremendously disliked it. Yeah, uh, tremendously. I have, I have, I can't. The I can only think of maybe two things to say that I, I, I would find uh, complimentary about it because there's so many other things that are so tremendously disappointing. Mm. So yeah, I, I really disliked it. Uh, I definitely didn't hate it like you did. I didn't love it either. Um, if I was to give it a grade, it'd be, and I know it'll be much higher than, regardless of what my score is, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be higher than yours. Yeah, probably more the 65 uh, range out of 100. If if I'm if I'm doing that, maybe closer at parts, maybe 70. Uh, it just depends on the part. So like I enjoyed it much more in parts. Um, this film was massy through the ass. Uh, by every definition of the word, uh, <laughs> which is obviously a, a genre that we still are not accustomed to, and also. Um, next time we have one of these films, uh, I'm going to go, regardless of when it is, I'm going to go to whatever Showtime has the most people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I think that's also sometimes with these style of films, because they're not our normal cup of tea, obviously, in terms of massy kind of films. It helps when you have a crowd that's also enjoying it, obviously. Uh, and I know a bunch of people are enjoying it, but obviously, uh, definitely didn't enjoy it as much as I've heard other people have enjoyed it for sure. I know I've uh, probably enjoyed it more than Rick did. Yeah. Um, but, uh, we'll get into it, obviously. Um, the, uh, did you enjoy, what, what did you enjoy first? I appreciated the, I mean... Atlee can clearly with the team of his cinematographers. Is your head cut off? Sorry. Uh, I want to make sure your head's not cut off. Okay, good. I, I, Atlee clearly with his team of cinematographers can can do some things that are uh, extremely uh, intricate techno technically with, with cinematography and visuals. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you didn't enjoy any of the, the, the fight scenes, though? I... I liked uh, logic I apart because I know logic. No, 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 no. And I had I was logic apart on on the fight scenes, especially in regard to something that's revealed in the very first fight scene that happens, which I I liked and felt maybe that's a particular direction we were going to justify some of the things that we were going to see, but no, there wasn't anything particularly. Uh, Stand outish for me with the fight scenes. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't like the um, without giving it away. Like there's one, the interval. There's an interval scene. Yeah, because I, I I enjoyed that interval scene, regardless of like um, how it fell in terms of like the story or whatever. Uh, it was a it was a very South Indian massy. Uh, even though there, there, I actually in this one of the issues I had um, with it is that it didn't go as South Indian Massey as I would have liked it to in terms of the fight scenes. So like in, in certain, we've seen some South Indian Massey fight scenes, obviously a lot. Actually. A lot. And 
like let's say if there's a hammer, that hammer's going through somebody's skull, and mm-hmm. we will we will see it. Yeah. And I feel like we didn't get that. And I, I was waiting for some like for some fun bone breaks, some all this kind of stuff. And I no, for my for my money, that came with Jailer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I obviously thousand percent enjoyed Jailer. <laughs> it was a, that was a lot of fun. Um, and at times, I I did enjoy this film for the Massey moments um, and stuff like that. But it never went far enough in terms of. Like, I feel like it was like a watered-down South Indian mess film. Yeah, it's a good right? description, yes. Uh, I, I, obviously, story aside uh, of, of certain plot no, points. No, when you were what, just specifically talking about the action just, sequences and the stunt yeah. sequences, I would I, absolutely say they did. that's why they just never really engaged me because the last time that I saw that on a big screen was not too long ago with Jailer, and that j- Jailer's just, from start to finish, just yeah. such a fun, wonderful movie. Yeah, and, and like I said, I, I had... I enjoyed parts of the uh, there's fight scenes and, and some there was some comedy that I appreciated, um, but I, I wanted the fight scenes um, to just be more epic, and I felt like maybe they were watering it down for the Hindi commercial audience maybe, uh, I and know. I was like, well, if you have a South Indian director, why not take advantage of yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, and because um, that's one of the things that did disappoint me. Outside, even though. I didn't. I hate the fight scenes. Um, I just. I wanted. If it's a South Indian director, South Indian production, Shahrukh Khan wanted to be a South Indian superhero, basically. Yes. Um, and it didn't why not work. go full full throttle? Uh, Agreed. Especially in the fight scenes is what Agreed. I'm talking I, about. I agree with you completely. Even though my favorite was the interval fight scene, I, I did. A, I, I like that one a lot. Um, but um, what about uh, uh, the performance? Not that there was like an Oscar worthy performance. What do you think no. about the performances? There was. There was. A- I was more disappointed with performances than anything that would have impressed me, primarily because so much of the script was just dreadful. And a lot of the performances were just performative. I didn't see anything like, again, comparing it to, say, Jailer, for as as massy and big and over the top, there was still some level of because the script was better there was a level of 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 believability of these characters other than just being like i said at the outset i just this this didn't feel any more connective to me as a human being than if i was watching micah play a video game Mm. um and i think this would probably be and it's not neither of our favorite genres Similar to, and I've never seen all but one of them, and it was one of the older ones, like uh, Fast and Furious and mm-hmm. and thing or Expendable. We saw the trailer for the new Expendables movies, right? Yeah, which was absolutely the yeah. right film to put as a trailer before this movie. <laughs> um, yep, it, they not, knew their audience for the trailer. Neither of our favorite <laughs> kinds of movies. Like action is usually never, even though I can appreciate a good some good action, obviously, and there's some uh, if it's done well. Uh, I can appreciate it, but it's never going to be my favorite no, style of film. No, it, it would be my least fa- If someone said, what's your least favorite style of film? I would say it's just brainless action films like Jason Statham. Yeah. I, I've seen one Jason Statham film, and that's why I've never seen another one. Mm-hmm. They just, I, I'd i rather watch Grass Grow. And this was, um, this was similar, I, at least I think, because I've never actually seen those movies. But, like, in terms of, you, you, if you, if you're trying to think of any kind of logic, you're just... You, you're already dead to rights. Yeah, or, 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 yeah, logic in every way, not just logic in the terms of the action and the um, uh, uh, stunt work and things of that nature, but any logic in terms of things that happen in the story, any logic in terms of the relationships that people have, any logic that happens in terms of continuity, any logic that happens in terms of uh, believability with makeup. Uh, even there were points where I, I just was thinking to myself again, how are, how are you allowing that CGI with Red Chili's name attached to it and the amount of money that an SRK film can garner? I just, yeah, it just it missed it every level for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the songs uh, were, were good, but we had seen most of them already. Yeah. Um, I think it was, it was one, two, two, I guess, uh, and there was parts like they left out of the stuff that we saw in in our reaction as well. Um, there was uh, quite a few cameos. Um, yeah, no, there's there's some cameos. There are some cameos, and then um, 
there's like uh, VJ Sadapathy's character who plays the villain in this, which is not a that's not a spoiler. Yeah, he's in the he's in the trailer, trailer and you would assume he would be the villain uh, from it. Um, I thought he did fine. Like I said, there, there, you did. Sh- yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, no, I did. He, I was disappointed. No, I was. Uh, I, I was going in expect. I wasn't expecting his normal gravitas. Oh in terms no, I of wasn't in any anyway, No, I my agree. my expectations might have been lower because I was expecting action Patan. Which I think this had actually had better action than Pathan and, well, and liked, better CGI. I liked Pathan much better. Um, Did you like this more than Pathan? It, it depends. In parts. Because wow. the second half of Pathan was extremely disappointing for us. It was. And the CGI was awful. It was, but I, I could sit through the first half of Pathan again easily. Uh, I, I enjoyed the first half of Pathan. Yeah, like I said, I didn't hate this movie as much as you hated it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's different. Yeah. Uh, both have their flaws uh, for sure, and both aren't totally my style of film either yeah so i'd much rather see shabra khan in a full-on romance role uh or something like dawn 2 that also had uh, action flaws too though yeah but it was it is head and shoulders for me above this um this is well that that wasn't trying to be fully massy either yeah. i'm not sure mass is one uh, fully our thing but definitely not your thing well is jailer mass I think you also gave Jailer a lot more forgiveness because it's Rajnikanth. Yeah, you, no. You think of not that I'm not trying to say this is anywhere. This, but Jailer, it's mass, Jailer's right? A, Jailer's a much better film than than Joan. I agree. But it, and it is mass. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yes. Rajnikanth is the this king. Was, this movie star of mass. Yes, um, that had just a little more groundedness though than of than a normal mass. So I think normal mass. You're not. So is normal mass basically Expendables? I think so. You guys okay. can let us know if I'm wrong. But okay. most of the mass films that we've seen, yeah. you have not been a huge fan of. No, I'm not because, trying to defend them. It's, yeah, it's just, no, I don't because think it's your if, style. If, the quali- if, if what it means for a mass film is to be like, say, for example, a Jason Statham film, where all logic in every sense of the form and, and any attentiveness to anything of artistic merit is just kind of thrown out the wayside because you're just going to have a banging good time of, in some way that is on par with, say, a video game, then, yeah, I'm not a massive fan. Yeah, because I think the cause the point of mass films is just entertainment. And I think, I don't think there's actually anything wrong with that. It's just, it's some people is not, obviously, their cup of tea, understandably. Um, but I know I have film buff friends who are, like, the biggest film buff I know that, like, they'll break down oh. every single part of a film, but they also love... Fast films. I know somebody who their favorite kind of a film was a Jason Statham film, and I went to them with one. I just that's the one film I went to, and I just could not. I just couldn't. <laughs> it's not. It's not everybody's <laughs> cup of tea, uh, because obviously s- people look for different things in film. Yeah. Some people just want escapism, and uh, entertainment. Yeah. And some people, obviously, they, they want more from that from the cinema. Obviously, you are one of those that wants more from your cinema, and that. But, so but I don't. I don't. I don't have any problem with, and I do appreciate films that are entertaining. I just, I just don't know why anyone, why anyone would find this kind of a film to be entertaining. Well, I think there's, there's, I'm, I wouldn't agree with that. I think there's entertaining parts of this film. Is it a full fledged package that I love, and I think it's like a, like RRR would technically be have mass in it. Um, I don't, I wouldn't classify that as a full mass, just because I think no. SS Rajamouli is just really gifted at his craft in terms of like making but, yeah. mass good and entertaining yeah because um, there's mass moments like the fact that you know a junior NTR can't carry uh, Ram Charan on his shoulders well, of course. and, and yeah. then kill Where people this, like com- yeah. no logic obviously yeah uh, massive straining of credulity yes. in that respect uh, he's, but I, you've earned at that point for me you've earned the right to do that kind of thing so for example yeah. uh, in don't this in addition yeah, in addition no I won't in addition to uh, the, the the just the, the lack of logic in so many respects. One of the other things that this film does ad nauseum is try to make you know try to cash in on emotion where you've done nothing of a deposit in any way, shape, or form into the audience to justify the fact that you're going to try to cash in on that emotion, mm. other than you're just going to placate. And that is, especially in some regards, which we'll talk about in the spoilers in a second, where it it was almost insulting to me that you're trying to now tap into my emotions when you've done literally nothing to to invest in them with anything commi- 
coming close to being empathetic or even humanly interesting. So yeah. I, I just, that's a, that's another part from what I've found of mass films is not only mass action, um, basically a lot of times no logic. Um, everything's basically just for entertainment or right. to get an emotion out of you. Everything, that is the purpose, not to make you believe it, just to get it out of you. Um, which, to, which to me, uh, you know, trying to evince an emotion out of someone without it being honest is... Which, which, is, is, which is one of the reasons that I... The, the problem I had with Jailer, even though I know you didn't have the same problem, is I felt they were doing that with Jailer, which they didn't do for most of the film at the end. Mm. Um, that's one of the issues I had. Uh, is like, could this one, obviously, the entire time they were doing it, and so maybe it would have fit better. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But that, that was one of the reasons I, I didn't like it. It's like, I felt they just did that to get the emotion out of me. Yeah. Um, I know you didn't have that issue with that. Um, you, yeah, I know what part you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, uh, and Jaylor. I didn't. I didn't think it was yeah, manipulative. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that is another aspect of mass. But but at least at that at least they saved that to the end and tried to justify it with the fact that they had a relation. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there I was it. an attempt at least. Um, <laughs> so like I said, uh, <laughs> Shower Khan had some had some funny moments. He, he obviously it's no spoilers. And he plays a. a a few characters in this. It, it's that's in the trailer, um, but uh, it's just overall. I, I had an okay time. Um, I know you did not, yeah. um, but I mean, you probably had a better time than theory, though. No. <laughs> 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 Can you say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I could say that. There you go. Okay. Uh, the positives, little positives. Right? Yeah, but I didn't have the kind of expectations for that. that maybe, I did yeah, for this. I think uh, uh, maybe for the next mass films, we should go in with less expectations. I don't know because I had high expectations for Jailer, and it exceeded him for me. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But maybe, and like I said, I maybe this may just was a bad movie. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe uh, you guys let us know, obviously know what you thought about the film, um, and I. Well, that's one of my big issues. I, I think if this had been a South Indian film, it might have even been better, um, because it, it it felt almost watered down. That's one of my biggest issues. Like it felt like if I'm going in for a big mass Danush film, I want to go in for a big mass Danush film for the like, kicking ass and obviously bone breaks and like don't half acid if you're going to go that full yeah. full way and I yeah, felt yeah, that yeah. at times not all the time like I said there was, there was moments that I did enjoy that they were kind of watering it down for the Hindi commercial audience um, well, either that or just trying and not succeeding. Yeah, maybe. That being that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. it's a South Indian director, so yeah. I, I assumed it was somebody else telling him because uh, <laughs> he knows how to make the the, the mass films. Um, but anyways, obviously, done with the non-spoilers. Yeah, you guys, we'll go into the spoils now. If you haven't now. watched it, please go watch it. Come back. You can let us know, and then we're going to get into some spoils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just what we wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, the first thing. There's just... and. Not that yeah, I was never looking for for logic. There's just one moment specifically that was like that is insane. That that's what you decided to go with. What <laughs> when he fell from the sky? Oh, that was beyond stupid. <laughs> like I was like that was insultingly there's stupid. There's so many different ways you could have done it to where it would have been more they believable. Just, uh, but the fact that once again, spoilers, yeah, it just basically lets you know, hey, audience. We think you're complete idiots and we don't care. <laughs> but, like, the fact that he fell from a plane, right? <laughs> at, at After what, he'd been shot five times. Whatever the distance was. I So it could have been uh, 10,000 feet, right? It could have been 1,000 feet. Yeah, it could have been terminal thousand. velocity at that point. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, but the fact that he, one, the branch breaks his fall, that would have cut him in half, is what that would have done at that velocity. <laughs> but then water is essentially, like... Uh, bricks. I saw a reel of a guy doing a dive off of a cliff that was about 35 feet high and he hit the water and broke his back mm -hmm. at 30 feet. And now, he did get, obviously get incredibly hurt. And I think it took I him know. months. And then he laid there for a month and got up and destroyed. I think it was six know. months. I think that's what they said. But yeah. regardless, uh, that like uh, he a, laid there and then was able to get up and destroy everybody. But, but I understand. But, but that you know what justified in, that, it? That happened in Batman. But you know what justified it? They broke his back. They did, but you know what justified it for me in that moment? Mm. He was becoming the incarnation of a god. That's what justified it for me in the in beginning. What? At the very, very beginning, I was looking for the justification 
for, and now we didn't know what had happened, but I was looking for the justification of how did this guy who oh, showed up, die. yeah, how did this like guy and bleeding Hutt. out, laying there for a month, suddenly have the power to destroy all the people that had attacked the village? And it was because the guy had been praying to God and said, prove that you're not more than just a stone. And so he had become imbued. Yeah. That, that for me was the only justification in the film. Oh, yeah, that would, like there's, there's a bunch of moments, obviously, that, that, I mean, there, there but were a I wasn't, ton I wasn't of, looking like I, it, so can I bring up the ones I dislike? Yeah, sure. You, you, if you can give me a justification, Oh, I'm not be going great. to, because that's not, <laughs> that's not the point of this so, film. So, number <laughs> one, if, if you're going to show somebody naked, just show them naked. Don't do the stupid, I'm going to blur it for you. That's the censor board though, so. Well, the, the censor board, gosh. Go on. Anyway, um, <laughs> if so, did you know that you could find out someone's pregnant just by checking their pulse? <laughs> I, I had no idea. Yeah, that was uh, I. That's another one. Hey guys, the, we assume you don't know how people know they how they get pregnant, so we're just gonna have someone t take her pulse and look at you and say, "She didn't just faint. She's pregnant." <laughs> yes. Good grief. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't know you could raise a kid in prison. That was new to me. Maybe um, India might have different laws. Who knows? Good grief. Um, <sighs> well, I don't think we need to go down all the no. the, the times. Because, once again, if you're looking for logic in a mass file, I think you've already lost. Um, but yes, I, I, I'm not trying to defend any of them. It's just it, it, the most egregious one. Uh, I, I thought the pregnancy one was just hilarious. Because, you know what was like, the most what, egregious what? one for me? Seriously, the uh, most egregious the one. The falling for me. from the sky? I, no, at first, I really liked the direction things were going on the train. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was a Robin Hood who was doing what he was doing. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is actually. This is actually trying to make a legitimate point about the farmers. I wasn't expecting this. This is actually, is this thing going to have some balls? Is this going to be like an action film that also talks about some of the deeper realities of what really goes on in the world, like Dark Knight? Mm -hmm. And then it, 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 it not only didn't, it then used those issues as just a point of being part of the story and being heavy handed to the to the to the point where uh, it just became insulting, not just to intelligence, but insulting to the actual issues themselves. They were used as just plot points to continue the film rather than legitimate stories, which they had done on the train at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that deeply bothered me because it, they're very they're very real instances where I thought, you know what, how cool would it be? I th was thinking this at the train segment. How cool would it be if this continues, and he's this anti-hero like V for Vendetta, or even the Joker I consider an anti-hero, who is wanting to correct some of the wrongs he sees in India. And then what if SRK came out after the movie opened and said, I've created a, a, an organization and all of the proceeds from this film, or at least what I've made on this film since I'm worth nearly $1 billion, are going to go to the issues in this film in some way, shape, or form and actually cross that line between entertainment and actually having your message become something that's impactful and changes the lives of the people that you're using in the story as part of your plot line. So I guess I would be disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and there, there's... Um, I was trying to remember what I wanted to talk about in spoilers. There was something specifically, but I'm trying to... Continuity? No, no, it's not a negative. Five years, just five... Wanting to talk about a... Kid pump. raised in prison. No, Rick, stop. No, I, I'm genuinely... No, 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 no. I, I'm saying those things to see if it triggers the thought. Um, no, um... I... <laughs> it's nothing to do with it. I actually would love to see VJ Sadapathy be Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the movie. I uh, like if there's like it. I know he's doing a Merry Christmas movie. Obviously, that hey, comes out later this year. There you go. I think he would be a great Indian Santa Claus. He would. He, he looked great. <laughs> I think he would be a great. I love I, his look at this. His, his look with the beard was epic. He was I, handsome. I, I he was looked hoping, great. I actually loved it in terms of just some of the other thing. I would love Shower Khan to come out as the old look Shower Khan in, in like a like a full uh, like maybe when he's you know twenty years from now when he's when he's older. 
and do look like superstar Rajna Kanta is when <laughs> just kicking ass. Um, because I, I like that look a lot. Um, the Pika's uh role, uh, I thought some of her action was cool, but like I, I wanted her to do more. I like, I wanted, yeah. I wanted her action to be like that's one of my main things. I wanted, like I've said, I wanted some of the action to just go farther because you have one red chilies. Uh, and two, you have a South Indian director. Yeah, they know how to do mass action. Yeah, and I just, I just, I wanted to see Topeka cracking heads. So like, I wanted to, I wanted some badassery. Or I actually thought the 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 girls would be involved in more of the badassery. Yeah, to a certain extent too. Well, I, they they were. They just it, like you didn't show the uh, as them as badass as yeah. maybe I, I I wanted it to. Yeah. Um, and. So, like I said, I didn't. I didn't hate the movie. Uh, I know Rick did. Uh, I didn't hate the movie, but I, you know, I was. Uh, I wanted more. I, I definitely wanted more um, in terms of like just from what we've seen. Jailer, right? Even though this is a thousand. Yeah, jailer percent, is. This is a thousand percent bigger than Jailer in terms of the production size, yes. obviously. Yeah. So, but you think you could do more then, right? Right. Um, but sometimes less is more, right? No, um, and that's the thing for me is because I so I so appreciate Shah Rukh Khan. And to know he has full creative control over every single thing. It's Red Chili's. That's his company. It's his name. Um, to to do the film and have it be done and and like walk away and say, yeah, I'm happy with that is 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 just shocking for me. You know, a lot of people. I mean, I've already heard a lot of people really enjoy this film. So it might just be and. And us thing that just don't get this style of film, it's possible. Obviously, yeah. we've given you our point, and yeah. that's <laughs> we're gonna to be honest. Obviously, yeah, we'll never be. It's never happened. Many, not be honest. It's happened many times where you know something is extremely popular in terms of like Pushpa, yeah. AGF two, um, Patan. Even even though we we appreciate parts of Patan, yeah, but we didn't. Yeah, we, uh, we didn't, didn't love it as much like as everybody people, else. Yeah, did. I think the closest the closest things would be. Where everybody was jumping up and down, raving about Pushpa and KGF two, and we we just did well. Yeah. And that hopefully that's probably I hope that's one of the things you love about us is that you know, when we say something positive and affirmative, we mean it because we will tell you when we really dislike something. Yeah. And it's never never with the intent. I mean, <laughs> the movie right at the beginning. It said, hope you enjoy the show. And I said, I really hope so. Because <laughs> you don't go into a film hoping it's going to fail unless you're just a mean person and the movie's a, you know, made by somebody that you truly detest. Yeah. I go in rooting. I, I wanted this to be good. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So you, you guys can let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, um, why we're idiots, as always, it all helps the algorithm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so just let us know what you thought about the film uh, down below.